Hey Summers and welcome back to the channel and welcome back to another episode of my For Rent gameplay. So I thought in this episode we will actually kind of like take a look at what happens when the mold kind of hits <laughs> your sims living spaces. So I did go ahead and cheat, um, you know, when you shift in left click some of your objects you can actually make it clean or dirty so i went ahead and did that for the sink the toilet and the shower because when it comes to the mold challenge in your residential uh space it does say if you don't keep your um things clean uh puddles mopped or trash piles emptied then it's kind of like a breeding ground for mold so i kind of wanted to see <laughs> how that will actually go and how long this will actually uh, appear in this whole apartment so <laughs> this will be my first time like actually seeing this work so we do have our trash bin here so i'm not gonna have her uh empty that out at all she's already saying that things are stinky but i wonder if like should we just make everything dirty <laughs> just to see like I'm just so, I'm just so curious. <laughs> so I'm going to make everything in here dirty. She is going to be rather uncomfortable for a while, but we're going to see if anything kind of uh, shows up here. So, and of course, maybe when she showers or something, um, hopefully some puddles will form. Uh, so we can just leave those there too. I just really want to see how this is going to work and see if maybe she can get that new like mold disease and maybe we can like go, go to our rental property <laughs> and see if we can do something with it but other than that uh seeing how this mold thing works i also wanted to check out the new like um cave that should be in this neighborhood if i'm not mistaken it is really foggy today it's supposed to be like scattered thunderstorms or something but there's supposed to be a, a cave somewhere around here uh, yeah here it is all right so this i definitely wanted to explore this as well and then other than that i did want to see what kind of interactions we'll get with um the tiger sanctuary i'm going to give it a couple of hours to see um look at all the bats give it a couple hours to see if any mold pops up in our apartment and then let her sleep and everything um and in the morning we'll probably go out and explore and then we'll also see what kind of situations or events might pop up for our rental property that we have um i think off camera right before i kind of like um well a little bit after i saved my game i had a pop-up come up that was saying that there was like some uh, electric electric issues i believe so we'll see if anything pops up i didn't go to the rental property to do anything but <laughs> because i kind of wanted to do that on camera so maybe we'll actually get something similar pop up again okay so it is the next morning and if you guys see here at the top <laughs> The explosive malfunction. It says nothing was done to address the explosive malfunction problem in 6 Ro Rokaya Rock side of the Robertson household. As a result, the unit rating went down. I didn't realize that there was kind of like that short of a time frame to kind of fix everything. Or that you still had the ability to do so after it was reported. So I didn't even make the effort to go there. But uh, it looks like our rating went down with the Robertson household. I don't even remember what it was. Oh, so she has a new personality trait. She's squeamish. <laughs> we'll go ahead and embrace the change. You are in here using this toilet when it's this nasty, girl. I'm sorry. But she did get a moodlet that says taking the hit from failing to address the tenant problem. It only seemed like a small problem, but Lamaya is finding out the hard way that being a property owner requires more proactivity. It does and i'm sorry but <laughs> maybe uh we'll get the option again to kind of follow through with something for our um 
a little rental property here. I feel like maybe this did used to be four stars, but then it dropped down. But let's get her cleaned up and everything and eat. And then it's really early in the morning, but we will definitely go and explore the cave. I wonder if it's um, similar to other cave explorations, like maybe the one that's in Sulani with the like mermaid mural around it. She is so tense. Or maybe it's like the um, the cave from um, the horse ranch pack, which I did do like a little mini five episode playthrough of that. And I did explore those caves as well. And it kind of played out uh, like um, like an RPG. So you, you know, you actually had to like fight some things or find some treasures and it's kind of like a rolling the dice situation, but um, I wonder, I'm really wondering what's, what's in this cave system for this new world. Because we do technically have a new type of culture here, a different type of environment, um, lots of different things going on for uh, Tomarong. So let's go see. Ooh, it's nice and bright now. This is a really pretty world, though. It really is. I'm already lost. My goodness. All right, so here's the cave. I'm just going to have her uh, teleport here so we're not waiting for her to get here. Sand pile here. Let's see her. Give me a second. Let me dig in the sand a little bit and see if we find anything. Oh, oh. We found a green tassel. Okay. Um, I haven't played the save in a minute, so I don't remember the other colors that we have. I know pink was one of them. I feel like blue was the other one. But let's go explore this cave here. Ooh. Wait. Oh, wait, no. The thunder. <laughs> the thunder is because it's, I guess, about the storm. But let's see what kind of interactions we get in here. Maybe we'll find some more tassels, maybe some marbles, maybe some really cool um, treasure. Did you hear that? Ooh. Lamai's eyes struggle to adjust to the cave's darkness. All she can do is stumble around, arms stretched forward, hoping not to trip over any rocks. A faint sound suddenly catches her attention, skittering, squeaking, and... Is that whispering? Frightened, Lamai freezes in place. Could someone or something be in the cave with her? An animal? A ghost? Well, we're not going to call out into the darkness. <laughs> oh my god. We'll take a deep breath and listen. Lamai inhales sharply, holding her breath and tensing every muscle, listening, waiting. The sounds are unchanged, but she also can't seem to place what they are. Thoroughly unnerved, she decided to book it before anyone or anything notices her. Girl, no! <laughs> Is she really gonna leave? So we got a mula that says, Jeepies Creepies. Well, that was an unpleasant experience. The feeling of fear really started to cave in on the mind. Okay. Okay, Thunder. <laughs> okay. We're definitely gonna go back in, though, when she gets out. But calling out into the darkness is definitely not... Sorry, like, me personally, watching a lot of, like, horror games and movies is definitely not the best option. But we're going to go back in. Hopefully, she's not feeling, like, too bad. A hidden tunnel. Upon entering the cave, Lamai notices a small tunnel towards the back wall. Could this be the entrance to another cave? A cave within a cave? Caveception? Eager to find out, Lamai makes her way into this dark passageway. Okay, let's explore passageway. Oh, does this, can this lead to like a hidden, a hidden area? At this point, Lamai can only rely on sounds and vibes to find her way out. The cave entrance has entirely disappeared from view, but with a few more steps, a light can be seen in the distance. Surrounded by damp walls, she can't wait to get out of here. Keep going. Is this going to make us exit, or are we going to actually find something? Oh, okay. Exiting the tight enclosure, Lamai is encompassed by a large cavern with light streaming through a small opening in the rocks above. It's a little oasis all to herself. 
Staying put and soaking in the beauty is certainly an option. However, a large stack of rocks resembling a stairway of sorts catches her eye. Fair warning, cave rocks tend to make excellent homes for tiny creatures. Okay. Let's make the climb. <laughs> Lamaya's found a collectible tassel. Then we got an orange tassel. Not a creature to be seen, but there was a small prize for Lamaya's bravery. A tassel sat atop the rocks, laying in a small patch of moss. A delightful find for her collection. It definitely is. We do need a total of 10. And I really do want to like collect all the tassels and put together that shirt uh, before I end this little mini series. Let me let me try to explore again a little bit. <laughs> we'll explore one more time uh, to see what happens and to see if we get another tassel, or if we have the possibility of getting anything else from out of here. Beautiful carvings. Locals have always ventured into Beard 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 Cove. <laughs> to soak in both the beauty and the history. Along the eastern wall, Lamai Samsri finds cave car carvings and drawings all splayed out. It tells a tale of war and triumph, if you're keen enough to decipher it. Let's try to decipher it. Blue tassel. Okay, blue we definitely didn't have. I think it was more like an aqua, right? Oh, okay, let me pause. <laughs> now, let me play. Uh, the drawings depict the story of a battle fought long ago, of beasts, tigers, and people. The great mother, embracing her alternate form as a tiger, found the tiger pack she had been searching for, fetching water from a trickling stream. Asking for forgiveness and begging for their help, she promised her people would care for all tigers until the moon became the sun. They agreed to lend aid. Upon the return to the village clearing, a fierce battle ensued between the tiger pack and the wretched beasts that had been ravaging the land. Together, they began to push back on the invasion, but as time passed, the great mother could feel her powers waning. Just when it felt like the tides were turning for the worse, something unexpected happened. An elder mistakenly made his way into the open. A beast caught sight and lunged right for him. In a moment of sacrifice, the Great Mother dove between the two, using the last remnants of her powers to save her elder. With a slash from the beast, Great Mother was split in two. A human form in a tiger form. A piece of her soul remained within her cat counterpart. In fear of this revelation of power, the beast retreated back into the depths of the forest. Ooh, so we do... Definitely get some lore here in terms of the uh, the Great Mother. And I think there was a statue by the Tiger Sanctuary that depicted the Great Mother and her tiger. Or two of the same because her soul was split into two in human form and tiger form. So that's actually some really beautiful lore there. I do kind of want to continue exploring this cave, but we, do, we did actually get... Uh, three tassels today two from the cave and one from a sand pile so it does look like you have the ability to um, also find them in these little sand mounds here you can see that and I wonder if like is it just tassels or can we also find okay <laughs> or if we can also find marbles we might be able to find marbles too but we are actually girl run inside <laughs> run inside where what is over here are you about to run home but you do have the ability to find those really nice tassels and i wonder if you'll be able to find some marbles as well but right now we have the four and if we just go back home and look on our wall here we have these two. Oh, it was the green one okay so or like a lime <laughs> light green <laughs> so we'll put these on here so that gives us five oh no i forgot this one so we're at six tassels right now so we don't have very too many left to get so i'll probably hit up the night market to see um what other colors we have but let me go ahead and get her home before i, I can't believe she's running all the way home girl please we're not doing that. <laughs> We're not doing that. Oh. <laughs> Get 
game, please. <laughs> Can I reset you? Okay. <laughs> oh my gosh. Anyway, let me go ahead and just have her shower up. <laughs> Not her swimming in the floor. But we did really good. Uh, or doing really good with our tassels. So yeah, so I do want to head back to the night market and um, see what other ones they're kind of selling. But in the meantime, I know it's like raining, thunderstorm or whatever, but I did want to go to the Tiger Sanctuary today as well. So let's go ahead and travel and see what kind of interactions we get there. Well, silly me thought we had to uh, travel when it was right across the water here. But let's go visit the Tiger Sanctuary because I don't even think we've really done that yet. There's also the ability to sneak into here and looks like we'll probably be only able to do that at nighttime. We can also support by donating 50 simoleons or 10 simoleons and we can adopt a tiger. <gasps> oh, hold on. <laughs> Toxic mold pile. A wild toxic mold pile has just appeared on your lot. Letting it fester could result in dire consequences for your sims. Clean, dirty plumbing objects in a timely manner to ensure more mold doesn't grow. But we're not going to do that because I want to see what happens. So here's our toxic mold pile. So we can destroy with fire. <laughs> we could just simply clean it. Or we can deploy a mold be gone bomb for 750 simoleons. Oh boy, but we're going to let that grow because I need to see all that this gives you. But this is gross. <laughs> this is gross. Look at the mushrooms. But this is the statue that I was actually talking about from the little um, uh, lore story that we got. It's really, really gorgeous. I absolutely do love this statue. Look at that. And the little butterflies. I've actually been um, replaying Animal Crossing. Just as a side note, <laughs> I've been starting Animal Crossing again. And these butterflies just like, uh, they just give me those vibes. <laughs> they give me those vibes. Oh, okay, so we do get little pop-ups for the Tiger Sanctuary as, as well. War means I love you, right? Lamai is so excited to potentially catch a glimpse of the tigers and the anticipation is too much to handle. With a burst of joy, she lets out a, a a strong roar or a small meow. Um, a meow. <laughs> it was a weird moment for Lamai and a weird moment for everyone else in the sanctuary too. It was probably the lack of context around someone randomly meowing that set the tone. <laughs> oh, a bird. Oh, oh, wait. Oh, it disappeared. You know, I have been seeing something that people have been saying that we'll probably get birds as another expansion or game pack or something. Or even a stuff a stuff pack, which will probably be really interesting, to be honest. Let's uh, visit the sanctuary again and see if we get another little pop-up. This is a really nice um, looking building, though. I just don't see, like... <laughs> With how empty it kind of looks in here, you know? Uh, spotted. Way off in the distant trees, there appears to be something moving in the brush. Could it be an elusive tiger? Lamai sure thinks so. Flail wildly to get nearby Sim's attention. Drop to the ground and pull out a camera. If we pull out a camera, does that give you actual, like, pictures to hang up? Like, you, you know, similar to when you're, um, what is it, scuba diving or snorkeling or something, you were able to get um, pictures of the ocean critters, unless I'm like totally making that up, or <laughs> the uh, little machine from being a scientist where you get like close-ups of organisms. I kind of want to pull out the camera. Lamai expertly zoomed the camera in to get an up-close look while staying a safe distance away. 
Through the leaves, she saw a mama tiger carrying a cub gently in her mouth. She watched for a few seconds before the little striped family disappeared further into the forest. She didn't get any pictures, but will certainly treasure this memory forever. Why didn't you get any pictures? You even expertly zoomed the camera in. <laughs> what? <laughs> okay. Let's do another visit, and then I think we'll check out the other interactions in terms of uh, supporting. So we'll definitely support the most here. I kind of wish they had another option, maybe like 75 simoleons or 100 simoleons. And then we'll also try to adopt a tiger. Hidden tigers. The distant sound of tigers roaring filters through the dense trees, but Lamai is unable to spot any, squinting and squirming to get a better view. They're still nowhere in sight. The tigers seem to be doing their thing, so she should too, and try to enjoy what is around. Look up and watch the birds, kick back and listen to the tigers. Huh. Is this like, mind your business type of situation? <laughs> um, I mean, we came here to kind of see tigers, so how about we just chill and listen to them? Lamai closed her eyes and listened to the tigers in all of their glory. Soaking in the various sounds of nature, it's important to remember that these are wild creatures. Besides, she heard somewhere that if you can see the tiger, you're on the dinner menu. So maybe luck was actually on her side. <laughs> Alright. So let's go ahead and uh, donate here. So we'll donate some simoleons and then we'll also do the option to support. And it's about 4.30. Uh, so I wonder, like, is this like a 7 p.m. type of thing? So it says, thank you for donating to the Sulea Tiger Sanctuary. Your contribution goes towards our conservation and preservation efforts. We are devoted to the protection and recovery of our tigers, so every simulia counts. Okay, so let's choose the option to adopt the tiger. And I wonder, I wonder what this actually is, though. Is this kind of like another, oh, there's the hundred simoleons. Okay. Welcome to the Tiger Club. Cute. Congrats on becoming a Cub Club member. And thank you for your generous donation towards the Adopt a Tiger program. Every cub needs a fluffy friend. So be on the lookout for your plush buddy and an exclusive comer commemorative poster this will arrive by mail in one to two business days your contribution is helping tigers thrive in and out of the salia tiger sanctuary and for that we think you're great be sure to come back and donate again later you get a little tiger plush and a poster that's adorable so one to two business days we'll definitely uh wait around to see that come into the mail but look, you get a little bell stone. Adopted a tiger. Lamai sponsored a tiger at the Salia Tiger Sanctuary in Tamarong. That is adorable. But it looks like the things that we can do here. I am going to go ahead and uh, take her home. Green her up. We'll probably come back here and sneak into the sanctuary to see what um, happens there. I'm definitely going to save my game because I don't know if this is actually a um a deaf type or not <laughs> so let me go green her up also spending a little bit of time in the apartment um will probably uh work a little bit better since i'm trying to see what happens when your sim contracts the little mode virus so <laughs> let's go ahead and uh, bring her home all right so we are back home y'all and look Look at this! Look at that! Look at the little spotted mushroom growing! Ew! Ooh, and then it pops up uh, another one over here. Ooh, allergenic mold pile. Ooh. Ooh, okay. Did it spread anywhere else? I don't think so. It didn't hit the back rooms yet. <laughs> but we're still gonna use this. <laughs> we're still gonna use this toilet here. And we're still going to eat here. We're still going to do everything that we normally do. Water leak. 
The water is leaking everywhere and four Rokhaya rock size, so many puddles and no one can even take a shower. The Brock household demands something must be done. Ooh, okay, cool. So we can actually sort out the problem ourselves or we can call a contractor crew over. Um, so we would definitely do that. It said it was the Brock household, which means we'll go down in our um, little unit list here and we can just go ahead and travel to this unit in particular. All right, so here we are. So let's go ahead and visit that household. So it was the Brock household. Is that upstairs? Okay, it is. So you have a water leak here. And we're just going to go ahead and or actually, were you were you the unit that had the thing? Okay, you were. Awesome. So let's uh repair. We also have the option to do inspection and maintenance on these as well. I think the same thing applies to um the electrical box uh i don't remember if this had one in particular oh let's knock on the door first what are you doing what is huh <laughs> okay <laughs> we don't ask questions but i'm assuming the same um interaction will be available on the electrical panels as well so you can come here and do like, um, you know, consistent maintenance checks on these items. Maybe you can even set up your own little schedule as a property owner. Maybe come here like twice a week and do your uh, maintenance checks and make sure everything is up to code. So it does say we have to repair or replace all broken water objects and we have to mop puddles. So even in our own apartment place um there was an outage <laughs> which i didn't even mention to you guys but i did call the property owner over he came in and he repaired all of the uh, electrical objects in our own apartment but when i panned over to the outside the electrical box itself was still broken so i just went ahead and just replaced it but ooh, <gasps> ooh. <gasps> Please don't die. <laughs> oh my goodness. Girl, let me save it real quick because I can't. All right, so we failed to repair this, but let's just mop up the puddles a little bit because she is dazed for 12 hours. <laughs> now I could cheat this away, but maybe we'll actually just um, take a minute to mop up the puddles and then we will fix the objects that are up there. We are timed on this. I'm assuming maybe it's like six or seven hours, some hours. But we could also fail at this as well <laughs> if we don't get it together. <laughs> um, <laughs> so let's go up here and fix the objects. Okay, so the dresser is in the way, but I'll just teleport her over here. We'll clean up some more of these puddles and we'll get working on this. So we should be able to... Um, fix these up it's so funny that she oh. oh okay great job taking care of the annoying water leak problem <laughs> okay I don't see how we really did anything I don't even think we finished fixing the shower and then this is still broken okay <laughs> well we did something you know and uh, the rating you know kind of went up here so i don't know i mean we didn't even really fix anything the time didn't even go down either so that's kind of that's kind of strange to me but we are still days so i'm not even going to attempt to fix this but we might get called back here again if the same issue happens but um let me go ahead and just take her home all right, so it's the next morning and it does look like the mold spread a little bit more. First off, there's a whole bunch of mushrooms in this one pile. This is the pile, and those just grew. Oh my goodness. Um, this is the pile that started it all. <laughs> 
And now we got a new one by the front door and some more mushrooms joined it as well. But these uh, allergenic mold piles, they don't seem to grow any mushrooms whatsoever. So that's pretty interesting. We're still going to go in here and use this bathroom like normal. Like nothing is happening right now. <laughs> you can't even like poke it. <laughs> I kind of thought maybe you could poke it with a stick or something. But I did forget to go to the night market last night um, to see if there... Ooh, she's stepping in it. To see if there's uh, any more tassels that we can collect. I think we need like four more. So I'm pretty excited to uh, collect the rest of those and finally make our shirt, which I'm kind of hoping to do in this episode. If not, we'll definitely do it in the last episode. It's kind of like a like a uh, farewell type of thing to kind of end this little mini series. And I think there was one more event that I also wanted to throw. I feel like it was like the potluck or something like that. Because we did, we did do a pool party last time. Oh, what's that? Oh, wait. Stop it. <laughs> okay. Sporosis from allergenic mold outbreak. Lamai feels funny from the weird growth sporadically infesting her home. The moral, moral, really, of the story is these mold piles are no good. And then she has a mild molinitis. Oh no, too much mold exposure has caused Lamai to develop a case of toxic molinitis. Y'all, it's happening. It's happening. What's this one? Severe <laughs> molinitis. Lamai's head feels cloudy. Maybe Lamai's imagining things, but it's almost as if she has something festering on her skin. Ooh, girl. I don't see nothing yet, but <laughs> getting there. Let me make some coffee. Make coffee. We can make tea and hot water. World's finest hot water. It's water, except hot. <laughs> what? Rain Rainbow Berry Unicorn Galaxy Tea. I'm actually in interested to see what that is. Oh, oh! Look at the little unicorn mug. That's adorable. Oh, it's actually like, oh my god, that's so cute. Oh, wow. I can't tell if that's just a recipe from this kettle itself or is it from something. <gasps> Lamai, no! <gasps> oh! Oh my gosh! <gasps> Deadly moldenitis. Seriously, Lamai's moldenitis has developed so much, it almost feels deadly. The mold has taken over her body, but is it too late to endure and survive? Oh, unicorn time. Ride the unicorn. Embrace the unicorn. See all of the splendor of the galaxy. There might be a bit more caffeine in this drink than Lamai expected. <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay. Let's, um, can we turn this off? Let's turn this off. I wonder if that can ca uh, cause fires. Oh, anybody outside that we could talk to? <laughs> anybody want my mold? Let's actually, um, go to a residential property <laughs> and see what can happen. Hey, we're contagious. Hi, Nancy. Let's gossip. <laughs> Let's pry for secrets, Nancy. Talk to me. So what happens when you're actually near other sims, though? So you have the ability to survive this, right? After like six hours? Ooh, she's, ooh, she's scratchy, itchy. Ooh, she's throwing up everywhere. Ooh. <laughs> so I kind of wonder, like, can you shower a couple times to kind of get rid of it? Can you go for a swim? We might go for a swim. But I want to get to the point where I can, like... Is she... Oh, okay. I thought she was flirting again, girl. I just want to see if, like... Can you give the disease to other sims? 
oh my god i was like what's taking her so long look how she's walking lamai oh sir oh my god not her walking like that is this going up or going down it's going down okay <laughs> Ooh, okay i guess this is a way for sims to bring uh zombies into play in a way can i hug you and then you'll get it and then you'll spread it to the apartment building okay <laughs> okay oh he touched our hand <laughs> well, let me see something oh we can't swim oh wait because we're uncomfortable okay because this uncomfortable plus 99 so they didn't even give you the option to swim if you wanted to. That's insane. We probably can't even play anything. We just walk around weirdly, being miserable. But I wonder if we'll survive long enough to maybe go to the night market. <laughs> and then I still wanted to sneak into the, uh, the tiger sanctuary as well. But we'll see if we have any time to do any of those things. Will she survive? Will she not survive? Can we still play as a ghost, though? <laughs> I was just like, this is this is pretty amazing, though. I'm not even going to lie. And you do get a milestone for it, too. So your first mold exposure. Okay, you found mold growing at 11C and got sick. Everybody's touching us, though. So it doesn't really look like other Sims will particularly stay away from you <laughs> when you're covered in mold. Actually, they will try to embrace you, <laughs> still talk to you and everything. Oh, she just thrown up everywhere, girl. Oh, no. <gasps> there it is. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> We're spreading it. 45 minutes. Ah! <laughs> gosh okay <laughs> it's about to be the moment of truth y'all but the crazy thing is you spend enough time somewhere you will put down the mold piles and this itself if nobody cleans this up it's just gonna it's just gonna continue the spread like how it did in our apartment all right 23 sim minutes Let's see what happens. <laughs> oh my gosh. 16. <laughs> oh my gosh, what is going to happen? Maya, I'm so sorry. But this is a mini episode of Experiments, girl. <laughs> okay. Five, four, three, two. Huh? What? We survived it? No way. No way. Uh, 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 there's a lot of mood that's going on here, but none of them are saying like we survived anything. Okay, we still got time, but <laughs> crazy thing is we got a mole pile here. So that's just going to continue to spread on its own. Obviously, things tend to happen more so, um, or progress, I should say, as your sim spends time on the property. So it's not open world aspects, unfortunately. So this isn't really going to spread on its own unless we're there, I feel like. I feel like. But uh, let's go and go to the um, night market. I think this is, yeah, this is the neighborhood for it. Because I do want to see um, what other tassels they were selling over here. And then once we've checked this out, we are going to go ahead and sneak into the Tiger Sanctuary. Tenant rule violation. Three-year-old Kaya Roxai has violated the no trash overload rule. The neighbors wouldn't be surprised if the whole building gets pest. 
Post fine remotely using the mailbox or prosecute fine directly to the tenant household to enforce consequences for the misconduct. Ooh, so the Fleming household. We would definitely go there. And uh, <laughs> you got to pay the fine <laughs> because you broke the rules. But I mean, we were just there and we literally threw up a pile of mold. So, you know. <laughs> but let's go see what kind of tassels there are we only need four more colors and hopefully there are some for sale that we can uh that we don't have because i feel like um it only sells about two at a time if i'm not mistaken but even after surviving that little burst of the moldenitis uh we still have it we still kind of have it. So I'm guessing for however long your sporosis lasts for, you'll continuously get the moldenitis mootlet, I believe. So we already have light green and we have the pink tassels. So there's nothing for us here. We might honestly keep digging around the beach too um, to see what other uh, sand piles we can find. So we might go around there as well. But let's go uh, back to the house, back to our neighborhood, and go sneak into the tiger sanctuary. All right, so let's go ahead and pop over here. I'll just have her teleport again. And sneak into the sanctuary. Sanctuary snacks. Sneaking through the lobby, Lamai sees an, emplo sees an employee. <laughs> and it sees an employee's only room oh lord to the far right that must be where they keep the good snacks tiptoeing towards the door the sound of approaching footsteps echoes out the stone and tile someone's coming she better find a way to avoid getting caught uh, let's make a sneaky dash for the employee room <laughs> today Lamai learned that standing as still and silent as possible doesn't make you invisible the guard could clearly see her in the doorway <laughs> And ejected her on the spot. You're temporarily banned from the Salia Tiger Sanctuary as a result of your actions. Oh my god, well, that didn't last very long. <laughs> Cat got your tongue. Silly tiger tricks are for kids. Lamai seems with silent fury. How dare they throw me out? Oh my god, Lamai, I'm so sorry, girl. <laughs> Okay, so you're only uh, banned for about a day or two. I wonder if you can get banned indefinitely at, for, like, sneaking in here con on a consistent basis. You don't even get the option to try to sneak back in. So, that's pretty interesting. All right, so it's morning time, and we just got this um, pop-up here. So, the least limp cycle for 11C uh, Sungai Point has reset, and a temporary grace period is in effect until 9 a.m. on Tuesday. Each time a lease length cycle completes, a grace period will start at 9 a.m. the following day and last for 24 hours. During this time, tenants are able to move out without any penalties. So 11C Sungai Point is actually where we are currently living. So you are, um, you do get the option, you get a day. <laughs> <laughs> to actually move out um so if we didn't want to live here we could probably just leave this place as is with the mold growing and everything and um just find somewhere else to live which is actually really funny to be honest oh oh there's options scrub the spore off there are mold spores nearby oh so because it's not telling us we have to have it actively on our skin to scrub them off. But maybe once they actually do form, we have the option in the shower to scrub them off. Okay. But obviously, I don't think that really truly gets rid of it until you actually clean up your place or vomit or something. But the mold piles, um, they are extruding some, like, fogginess or mistiness kind of similar to what we had going on in our sim and we contracted the moldenitis again hello <laughs> i 
Don't mind us. <laughs> so by having it on our skin now, okay, we still can't scrub them off. So you only get the ability to scrub them off if you don't have a spore nearby. Okay. Which can, which makes sense, to be honest. So I could just go to a gym or someone else's house and use the showers there because they would technically be clean. Um, and then, you know, get rid of it that way. But if we talk to him and complain about rental, ask to inspect. You can inspect things. Uh, so we don't, it doesn't seem like we can really talk to him about the mold issue. But we do still have to go to our rental agreement to talk to the Fleming household because they broke a rule and it does show you here when you mouse over them that they broke one rule so we are going to go to them and we're going to um hand them the notice i guess or collect the um the fine or to tell them to pay the fine in person because <laughs> we can do it over the phone but we're not going to do it that way all right so let's go ahead and visit the household Oh, okay, so if you click on the door, deliver fine for no trash overload, 600 simoleons. This will attempt to extract the post-it fine from your rule-breaking tenant. This does not force them into future compliance. Okay. So, all right, let's 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 click on this. So I'm guessing once you click on their door, um, they'll come out and you interact with them directly. Right? Oh, and you slip it under their door. Wait. Okay, she paid the money, but I think we got a negative uh, relationship with her. But we did collect the fine. That's so funny. <laughs> you just slip it right under their door. Can we eavesdrop? Oh, now she's angry. Oh, she's coming to talk to us. Hello. Is the mopal still there? It is. It grew a mushroom. <laughs> Ooh, okay. She's mad, mad. Ooh, ooh. Yelling at her about the trash. <laughs> I don't think we're going to like her very much. Malicious. Uh, okay. <laughs> That's hilarious. So before I end the episode, you guys, I did go ahead and pop back over to our place so we can get our mail and see what our little cute uh, tiger plush looks like and the poster. I also love how these mailboxes look when they're, they have something in it. So let's step in here. And is it in? It is. Oh, a letter. Oh, bills. <laughs> Not me thinking somebody said to something. But let's check to see what this tiger plush looks like his name is tybert <laughs> this adorable little plushie is a thank you gift on behalf of the sulea tiger sanctuary we've affectionately named him tybert Be but feel free to rename him as you see fit we hope he brings joy and helps you remember your adopted tiger friend thanks for supporting our conservation efforts sincerely sulea tiger sanctuary conversationist Con conservationist staff and tigers oh that's big oh it's so cute it can't really go on the uh tables though but it's so cute there's got to be like different colors for it too right look at it oh that's so adorable and then we got a poster we'll hang this up here oh that's so nice Adopt the tie bird. Furry equals friend. And this one needs you more than most. Thanks to your support, Tybert the tiger can flourish with his family at the Celia Tiger Sanctuary. That's adorable. That is so cute. I really like that they added that in there. But I am going to go ahead and end this episode here, guys. So if you like the video, please give the video a like. It definitely helps with the YouTube algorithm. And don't forget to subscribe if you're new. And I will catch you guys in the next one. Bye, guys.